and I'm going to be doing a like date night quick little cranberry. I know it's Halloween season, but we're going to be doing some cranberry season, you know, with the new lips and, you know, everything like that, you know, cranberry eyes and shit like that, you know. Um, but this is like how I created this look. Stay tuned because you know your girl got you because I'm about to create a bomb ass look for y'all. Um, but <laughs> I totally forgot what I was going to say. But anyways, if you like this look, be sure to just stay tuned. And you know, and all the products will be listed down below. Enjoy you guys. Sister's Chinese. That's not no damn Chinese. Oh wow. Okay then. Do what you do, play. At this point, I am, well, of course, you know, concealing my brows to get them to my perfect thickness because my natural brows are not really that thick. But y'all know your girl love a thick brow and she loves to have a fullness to the brow that she has. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing that, making sure that's correct. You know, I go in pretty quickly and pretty swiftly. Um, I do like an under brow motion. Um, and that's for me, like, to figure out the la the laws of symmetry. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm over here winded as hell. Um, but, yes, I'm just concealing my brows, making sure everything's perfect. I'm um, getting everything together, carving out the brows. So, I say, um, I use my concealer as eyeshadow base. And then I actually do mix eyeshadow base and concealer together to kind of amplify the eyeshadow look. And I decided that I am going to use eyeshadow in this um, makeup tutorial. So, I just decided I was going to do that. Um, and of course I'm buffing out the concealer to make sure it's like a har not a harsh line of demarcation I wish I could see because my mirror is in the way and I'm gonna figure out that you know y'all can't see it a second and then you know raise the mirror um, look I mean lower the mirror so what I do when I conceal the dark spots on my face is I use a concealer closest to my sh skin <laughs> my skin tone and I go in there and then you know I buff out that on my skin and that eliminates any type of demarcation or you know um, type of discoloration in my skin and that's a tip that I learned and that's really cool to use and then I'm over there setting my eyes because you know I have um oily skin so I love to set my concealer because so we don't crease no creasing yes that's what we want um and there I am just um yeah and there I am putting my foundation on so I use the morphe no filter foundation in the shade 27 and then I use mac um mac the shade mac um nc50 um, and I mixed them together because I did get a little bit of sun when I was, you know, on vacation. Um, and so I just pounce that into my skin, do using a kind of like stipple-like motion. 
I pounce that into my skin with a um I don't use a beauty blender because I just I don't know why I worked at the my counter so I just never really thought to use a beauty blender anymore because I always use them um so now I always buy them but I am getting more into using beauty blenders um and you guys will see how that process goes goes out and you do see my foundation you can see that um I'm no I'm starting to get lighter because I'm not always in the sun so um you'll see how I fix that in just a second with putting the no filter foundation on my skin and I'm like whoa <laughs> I'm not as dark as I seem anymore um so there I go um and if anybody like decorates um if anybody decorates like uh like if anybody is like a decorative I would love to like get a mirror that's decorated that's my name you know without y'all staring at you know the mirror um and there I go with my concealer in the shade Vaughn and the shade LA girl because you know it's my favorite love that concealer it's so freaking good um but I also use shape tape and um I will do that this is just one of my quick little beats because I know that I can do this in less than 30 minutes um and it'll be no problem so I just stuck with like my staples um go in and buff that concealer out not buff the concealer out you know kind of like um you know kind of smooth that concealer out <laughs> and I'm on the phone still so I'm sounding crazy so me I like to have a super eye that's kind of like really um defined highlighted especially when I'm going for a more like date night look so and then I go back in with the um y'all know I go back in with the um the sponge that I already use for my foundation and go over any harsh lines and so um then i go in with this contour palette from um la girl i believe and i just use the shade banana to like highlight and then i go back in this is a little trick that i go back in with my with the shade with the concealer um motion and then i do it again and then set with banana midnight banana powder i love that that keeps my under eye dry and amazing and yes I go in, make sure that everything's covered, you know, everything cool, you know, <laughs> got it all together. Then I start to contour with my Black Radiance palette in the shade medium to dark. Um, and if you look in the back, in the back of my video, um, what I'm watching. So I do set my um, my eyes because you know if I'm going for a more natural look, which I will actually do one of my natural tone um, makeup looks for you guys. Um, later, but I do use the me the contour kit to kind of set my foundation. Well, to set my eyes to like a natural color, so it isn't looking like white. Um, when I, you know, you know, if that makes sense, yeah. Um, so then I'm also <laughs> I'm looking for lashes because I got a big I got a big lash drawer, and so oh no, I think I'm looking for um oh no, I was looking for yeah, I was looking for lashes. Um, and the lashes that I used will be down below. I love using lashes from the Beauty Spice Store. I don't know why. I just love it. Um, if you guys have any lash rep recommendations, I always use the Lily Lashes. But, um, but if you guys have any lash recommendations, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but also you can like DM me on Instagram and like let me know like, hey Shay, I love this one. Um, and now I'm just putting some glue. I love to put like a lot of glue for some reason because like me and my eyes are like really, really kind of funny. Um, I never used to put lashes on because i would just be afraid of um lash glue but now i just like forget it like whatever i love it um but now i'm just letting that dry and then i'm going to focus on my eyes so whichever palette that i got out of this drawer was the palette that i was going to use and the wonderful palette that i chose was the juvia's place i love juvia's place i love them i love their bronzers and new bronzers that they just came out with i think a few weeks ago um i think that they're amazing um and so what i'm going to do is create a little I love a good neutral like cranberry shade it's so beautiful so I go in with the shade um I want to put it down in the description box below because I'm not at my makeup station with that um chocolate like shade and I use that as my transitional color um transition color sorry and I use that as my more transition transition color to you know in my crease area which is really beautiful love it um and then I go in with more of a cranberry color and if I go out of the way, move Shay. <laughs> I'm telling myself to move. And I go in that with my lower crease area and I kind of buff that out into where it looks a little bit more seamless with the chocolate with the chocolate color. And I'm actually gonna have them in the script description box below for you. Just so you know y'all are, you know, you are up to speed and know which colors that I use from this palette. And I'm so sorry I'm not at my makeup station. I'm just editing this um away from my makeup station right now. And so what I do is I go in with um, that cranberry shade and kind of create that more effect 
of you know a more night a more bolder eye um, and then I use the more shimmery golden shade. I love shimmery golden shades. They're so beautiful. And I use that all over my lid. And then I go in with that um, medium. It's like a little blood. It's like a little buffer brush. And I go in closer to my lid area and buff that out. So there's no harsh line of demarcation. And then I go with, um, oh yeah, I'm over here trying to divide my glue. <laughs> um, but yes, and now I'm over here trying to make sure my glue is dry because you know you don't want no wet glue to apply. So yes, that's I'm applying my lashes. Yes, 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 yes. And making sure that that's all straight. Now with this lash, uh, so this eye always gives me problems. And yeah, I'm like texting him to see where he's at. And he's just like, hey, I'm on the way. And I'm like, hey, okay, cool. Um, yeah and so me over here on my phone which i told <laughs> i was like oh i'm gonna speed past this one but you know um but anyways after i get off my phone hello miss missy i'm over here telling myself that um but after i get off my phone i'm over here trying to dry it um trying to get it together make sure that this lash is on pretty straight and you know has it together okay then yeah <laughs> sorry y'all i got sidetracked but yeah i'm basically putting on my lash right now um and then it was still acting crazy so i had to add more lash glue because it must have dried um because this lash glue for me it dries really quickly so i'm over here looking for my lash glue and i'm like yo it's right there um <laughs> duh shay <laughs> um but yeah i'm over here putting lash glue on my lashes and then it, you know i'm trying to make sure it dries really quickly like fanning it out i'm getting that together um, and at the same time, I'm still baking my concealer because me, I love a good, you know, a good highlighted bright under eye, and that is like so important to me. So I also am fanning, getting everything together. Um, ooh, yeah, see, I okay. And I didn't put any liner or anything like that because I just wanted to have like just you know a simple kind of look. And so right now I'm just simply going in with the CoverGirl powder that I typically do use to, or no, I'm actually going to brown, sorry. I'm bronzing my face up, you know, warming that, um, giving me my skin a little bit more warmth. Um, and I'm over here just trying to make sure that, you know, he's not far away because, you know, us women, um, we often get ready <laughs> at the last minute. Um, and so there I am, I'm with the black, um, not black radiance. But I'm with the CoverGirl powder that I use for all over my face. And I'm using a, a um, I believe this is a Real Techniques blush. It, or, it, no, I'm sorry. Not Real Techniques blush, but something else. But um, I'm going to correct it in the comments below. Um, and I'm over there talking. And I'm still going to do some little bronzer. CoverGirl Queen. I'm so sad that they don't sell anymore. But I'm so happy that I still have mine. Um, and I'm over here looking for my my highlighter brush because you know I love or no blush brush, and I love Mac the blush that I got from Mac. It was so beautiful. I'm a Mac girl. I used to be a Mac artist um, back in the day, not really back in the day, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And now I am just making sure that he's far away. I'm using. I'm trying to look for my. Um, highlighter brush and so you see up close and personal my face and how it looks you know a um <laughs> yeah and so there I go with my highlighter brush and this is my highlighter shade in the shade gold deposit beautiful love that shade it's really cute for my skin tone really brown really beautiful um yes 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 hello yes okay and then um i'm over there checking out my face putting everything together um and for my last trick i'm just gonna put um that cranberry shade and a little bit of that brown shade under my under eye to kind of give it a little bit open up my eyes and give it a little bit more brightness it's a little trick and i love it i love to use it um and then i just put a little bit over it smudge it over underneath my eye um i don't put any liner or anything like that because i feel like this look does not need it um and then there I am, just basically, you know, adding more 
well, I'm doing mascara to my bottom lashes as well as my top lash. Um, I gotta make sure that the that it is dry first, but I typically do um, make sure that they blend together and that it's dry. Um, yes, yes, okay, look at me, and I'm over here like, yes, girl. And there I go in with my Bar Mario Badescu facial spray. It's good to hydrate your face before, like, I just don't like putting a bunch of matte stuff because it looks, like, really dry. Um, that's just a little trick I learned from MAC. <laughs> but, um, yes, then I put some Fix Plus spray, and then I'm done, and I'm like, yes, girl, hello. Um, and then for my lips, I do MAC Chestnut, and then I do the shade NYX Butter Gloss and the shade Praline. This combo together is amazing. I love this as my lip combination. It is my staple now. No, it's actually fortune cookie that I'm using. Sorry. Praline is another one that I'm going to do like a NYX haul for like good nude lipsticks or if you want like a shade like that that I'm doing right now. But Praline is another one that's like really good, but it's in the shade fortune cookie and it is beautiful and amazing and I love it. And yes, look at me looking like a bad hey bitch. Hey 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 thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate everyone for liking, um, for watching this video of how I created this little date night look. I gotta go change my clothes and be ready for my wing because you know I gotta ring. <laughs> Anyways, um, but I thank everyone for watching. Products will be listed down below. If you like like the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how you feel about my state. You know, you know, you know, you know. Or if you have some products that you know you want to recommend to your girl, let me know. Um, but just um, see you guys later. Bye.